Hi everybody, Jeff Sloan here with Composites World. It's the end of day two of JEC World 2022. We're here overlooking the end of the show. If yesterday was busy, today was crazy. Today was uh, a throwback to the olden days of JEC, like pre-COVID. Uh, a ton of people here and uh, lots of good activity and a really good day. Uh, one of the words we're hearing the most here at, at uh, Object this year is sustainability, uh, for obvious reasons, I think. Uh, lots of interest from automotive, aerospace, energy, and other OEMs uh, for the composites industry to start getting its sustainability story told more effectively and to develop data and systems and materials that are healthier for the environment and healthier for the future of our planet. So. Uh, a lot of talk about that here today and uh, and yesterday as well. Uh, we're also seeing a fair amount of large format additive manufacturing, uh, some from suppliers that we did not even know were in this business, like Breton, as shown here. We're also seeing a lot of carbon fiber wheels on stands here at JEC. Uh, wheels, of course, uh, made with carbon fiber composites uh, reduce uh, unsprung mass within the wheel and convey some substantial benefits to the vehicle. And we're seeing a lot of those from a variety of suppliers. And then finally, we're seeing a fair number of battery enclosures, battery boxes for electric vehicles. Uh, this is not particularly new given the electric vehicle revolution that's taking place, uh, but they are quite evident here on stands at JEC, which signals that uh, this is uh, an application that shows great promise for the composites industry. And that's it for JEC World 2022, day two. I'm Jeff Sloan with Composites World. We hope to see you here tomorrow. Check in with us on this channel. Thanks for tuning in.